ஹலோ மேம் ஹலோ சார் மேம் நிறைய ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இப்போ இன்ஜினியரிங் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் சூஸ் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னு போது இப்போ ரீசெண்டாக கேள்விப்படுற ஆர்டிபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் அண்ட் மிஷின் லேர்னிங் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு ஆப்ஷனும் இருக்கு பட் அதோட கோர்ஸ் கண்டென்ட் வந்து என்னன்றது இன்னும் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்க்கு வந்து கிளியரா ஒரு ஐடியா இல்லை ஸோ அதுல என்னென்ன சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் படிக்கிறாங்க அண்ட் இந்த கோர்ஸ் சூஸ் பண்றதுனால என்னென்ன அட்வான்டேஜஸ் இருக்கு Okay, so AIML, it is Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. So, when students choose this subject, they have more career opportunity. That is the main point. Then, salary potential is very high. For example, they may get from 10 lakhs to 15 lakhs of package initially itself, they will get. So, because it is specialized subject. Next is, uh, they will get, um, it is intellectual uh, challenge. They can, the students who learn machine learning, they can... Uh, solve complex problems and they can give the solutions more innovatively than other other base subjects so uh, they can use cutting edge technologies for solving the solution for complex problems so like uh, they can use the deep learning technology deep learning algorithm uh, reinforcement algorithm so uh, so different all the subset of machine learning there are so many n number of algorithms so they can solve the problem very easily when they choose the subject so these are the main reasons why students are using uh, choosing the uh, ml subject what are the subjects they study now okay uh, for students for ml students we are offering the base subjects uh, like python programming because to uh, if they know the algorithm they have to implement it so for programming we will teach uh, python programming when java programming full stack development java programming we are teaching we are offering for the students and then um, artificial there are fundamentals of artificial intelligence uh, applied artificial intelligence introduction to machine learning then neural network then reinforcement learning deep learning and so these are the various courses we are offering for the students so uh, in this few of them are the sub sub field of the ml so our students has to learn can you share some details about these subjects what is exactly neural network or what is deep learning okay uh, so neural network is nothing but we are having neurons in our human brain so similarly we are taking the artificial neurons and we are uh, training we are giving the structure we are training and we are giving the solution with that neurons so there are so many layers input layer or, or hidden layers or uh, out, output layers so some activation functions has been applied and we are getting solutions from we are predicting some solution for for some scenarios mm-hmm. so that is neural network and when we go for uh, deep learning so deep learning is used for classification when for um, machine learning when students learn the introduction to machine learning also they will learn classification like uh, so supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning semi supervised learning so these algorithms they will use but in deep learning they will go in deep uh, neural structure and they will apply the algorithms so um, uh for example they have so many uh, predictions can be done uh, so the deep learning is the sub field of machine learning so next is uh, natural language processing uh, translation the chat box where we and all using that and all being come from nlp so and then the translation for speech to text Uh, trans uh, transpiration and if you if you if you are in one new place and if you don't know the language the language translation so all these are done by nlp and the text summarization so this all comes under nlp and when we go for reinforcement learning it is based on the agent the agent will understand the environment and they 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 take the decision based upon the environment so for example self driving car so it takes the inputs the content from the environment and self driving car and all is one of the applications of the reinforcement learning so what is the basic difference between a student studying the core computer science and the aml so core is very ba- uh, csc is very basic and ml is nothing but it's a specialization of csc so um there uh, in in machine learning already students are specialized in in these subjects so if students are taking uh, if students are learning csc 
Uh, for them, this uh, deep learning, NLP, uh, all those are specialized paper. Where for ML students, these are the basic papers for them. So they have more advantage. They have more advantage. They learn more. They're, that is, ML students are advanced when compared to CSC students. But uh, how will be the scope of this department? Like after some years, so after job opportunities. Yeah, job opportunity. Actually, we are going through generative AI. So generative AI is nothing but advanced of artificial intelligence. So we are using the chat GPTs, uh, co-pilot and all. So even one of our uh, artificial, our department student, they uh, he has developed our own GPT and it has been published in our website in, in NIA. So so the advanced concept so as we go on the technology is increasing so this when we come into this domain it is continuous learning process because as the years goes on the algorithm is getting improvised and it is for more research purpose it is getting improved so it is a continuous learning process and when it comes to job opportunities there are so many job opportunities so ML engineer, machine learning engineer, machine learning architect, then the research scientist, data science scientist, then data engineering, then business intelligent developer. So there are so many on the AI software engineer. So the, these are the different job roles students will get. When a student want to join AML, they have a lot of colleges and options. Yeah. But choosing Savita, what are the benefit or advantages he gets? Here we have all high-end systems. So the server we are using GPA, NVIDIA servers we are using. So it's a high-end systems we are using. So students will get more benefit with, with these with these technologies. So uh, it is very it's very best. So in in when among so many colleges, only very few colleges we have NVIDIA. So one of our college is offering the NVIDIA systems for the students. Now what about the teaching faculties, like uh, how they train the students? So completely, uh, we are completely teaching students using through Moodle. So uh, we'll be, uh, I mean, we'll be uh, offering the notes. So we'll be completely technology based only. So we'll be uh, teaching the, uh, I mean, uh, the content will be in PPT, we will be teaching in PPT and students, uh, uh, all the subjects are practical based. Everything are practical based. So students will do all the experiments in the software and they will push all the experiments into GitHub. So what happens is in the, in the students resume, we will ask students to uh, give the GitHub uh, their GitHub page link they will ask to put so that when an employer visit their page the, they can know what and all experiments what and all projects they have done the students have done everything can be visible for them so so we are following that for all the subjects in our department we are following this so if all the subjects has to be pushed into the github so that in when they go for company also they will be well versed in using github after finishing aml mm. and they want to go for higher studies yeah. so what are the course options they have whether it is they are restricted to only a uh, few domain or they have wide options? We, they have wide options. So, um, uh, so as I told developer and then even the research analyst, they can go or data analyst, they can go. They can even move to the robotics. They can go to data scientist data data science uh, domain also they can move so this machine learning all this are interconnected ml deep learning reinforcement learning everything is interconnected so students can shift to any what in which field in which line they are interested they can go even worse in that domain um, uh, one more common doubt is regarding uh, how to study like when they choose this like what basic things a student should know already so that he can study well after choosing the subject because some students are like usually says like uh, after I choose I suffer because I don't understand the subjects. So what are the difficulties in this particular AAML? Actually difficulty is based upon the student's interest. Okay. So if students are very interested, we all the staffs are not only teaching the concepts in theoretically in for each and every topics we are teaching the students with practical concept also so they have to come they have to one one if i'm taking one topic okay we are doing the experiment on that students can uh, give uh, extra 
extra i mean uh, some extra innovative ideas they can give and they can just improve that so everything is practically based so students won't feel much difficult so the main thing is uh, the programming language we will teach in the first semester itself so in whatever core subjects they take so everything will be based on programming language so concepts we will be teaching and many students are very interested so students are very active in uh, all the Uh, smart in your hackathon so students are going for many competitions and they are receiving so many prizes it's, it's not that the students has to be interested in taking the subject and they have to mm-hmm. by if coming in force lead is in difficult right yeah. Yeah, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. And so nowadays, you. during the counseling time, many students like getting confused with uh, which department to choose. So okay. they have a lot of options, but your information regarding AML. Like uh, help them to choose the department in a good way. Okay, so even gaming also we are offering for the students also. That is augmented reality, virtual reality. So gaming programming. So even students who are interested in gaming also, the ML students can offer that also. Mm-hmm. So everything is mm-hmm. offering in our package. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sir.